I start working this crevice. I scratched out all the material. The silt sort of murkied up the water. As it just started clearing out, have a go at what I just found sitting on the bedrock. Can you see it? Oh. Let's see if I can't spot any more in here. What is up guys, it's Sean here from Busted Knuckles Prospecting. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to do a bit of gold crevicing and we are going to process all our material using the Batea pan. I was sent the Batea pan from Aussie Gold to give a bit of a test out and see what I thought of it. So, if you're not a subscriber to the channel already, go down, hit that little subscribe button if you want to. If you think you like my content, if not, just drop a thumbs down and we'll get on with this video, eh? So this is our crevice we're working at the moment. I'm just going to sort of just follow this around. I did follow this crevice in a previous video. I'll put the link to that just here. And we got some awesome gold out of that. So we're back today and we will continue on with it and see how we go using the Batea pan. Not exactly sure how well you're gonna see that. 
That's a bowl of amalgam, a little nuggy. Because I'm still new at using this pan and I'm not exactly confident at uh, backwashing, get, uh, revealing the gold that well, we're just going to transfer the material over into my super sluice and we'll just keep processing the material through the Matea pan and I'll just do the reveals in the garret just to sort of reassure me that I'm not losing any gold at all. So I'll get this into the garret super sluice, I'll pan it back a little bit and I'll give you a look. Okay, let's stop rolling around. There is our little ball of amalgam and there's a few specks just up here, four little specks. So what I'll do now is just continue on with this crevice, we'll keep following it, pumping out material with this potato pan transfer all our concentrates into the super sluice and we'll just do a reveal at the end of the day. Now my thoughts on the potato pan at the moment it's fast it processes through black sand like you would not believe and I'm quite fond of that. I'll just quickly pan through this overburden, see how fast I can get through it, and then we'll start working some good stuff. We've removed some of this sandy overburden. There's the old, old model there. Ah, and we're just going to do another pan out, but this time there should be something decent in this because we've removed all the lighter materials from this crevice. See the colour change in the water? That's telling me there's something rusty down here, possibly with a huge gold nugget. Let's uh, pan this out and see what it yields. There's our chunk. There was our chunk of iron. Catching garnets, so that's a good sign. We got a lot of amalgam. I'm gonna have to suck all the gold up out of my super sluice so I can tip this into it and give you a bit of a look without losing any gold. So we'll do that and I'll see you in a second.
And that's everything guys. If you look very closely, you'll see that little ball of gold. That little round bead or the little round piece of gold would have been something the old timers just threw away after doing a bit of an assay test. Now, if you look just up behind that water wheel there, there's a building which was the, uh, the mine office and that's where they done all the capelling and basically all the uh, assay testing for to see if they're still on the gold and all that sort of juicy stuff so that's the tiny little specks that I'm finding the reason why they're rounded is basically it's already been processed and they've got their results and they've just hoiked it out the window into the creek and here I am nearly a hundred years later and I'm finding what they've thrown out. You are not going to believe this. The moment I turn my camera off, I start working this crevice. I scratched out all the material. The silt sort of murkied up the water as it just started clearing out. Have a go at what I just found sitting on the bedrock. Can you see it? Right there, a little nugget. Oh, you beauty. Oh, yes. Have a go at that. Okay. In she goes. Oh. Let's see if I can't spot any more in here. Bit of lead shot just there. So I'm going to scratch this little section out. I will get my bait pump, we'll clean it all out properly, fill the pan entirely up with as much material from that crevice as possible, and we will do an awesome reveal. I've got to transfer this over to the super sluice. There is a lot of gold in this. Ah. 
have a go and all that got a lot of fine gold up in there a few chunkier pieces pretty sure that's a piece of gold that's just been amalgamized we won't know till we get home but that there some of that nice gold nugget beautiful I reckon that'd be about half a gram Feels like it's got a bit of weight to it. Let's do a drop. Oh yeah. Yep, definitely half a gram I reckon. Alright, I think I'll empty the snuffer bottle, clean all the gold up and give his a look. So we got a nice chunk of amalgam, a nugget, and we got lots and lots of fine gold. Which I will clean up and give you a bit of a look at at the very end of the video. I'm just going to grab these crackheads bloody rubbish and cart it out with me. Already put one of their cans in here. Got their friggin' spotlight, gazebo spotlight rubbish they've left behind. Friggin' grubby bastards. Might be worth having the caretakers come down and patrol this of a night time. I'm gonna have a chat to the caretakers of the falls. I've already been in contact with them and we've got some plans getting put in place for the falls. Now that I've spent five, 10 minutes just filling in my holes and I've picked up some grubby, filthy pricks rubbish, I'm going to start heading back to the car. Oh, God. Tell you what, that hill never gets any easier. As many, the amount of times I've walked up it, it just seems to get harder and harder. Woo. Seriously, it's not that hard, is it? Small pile of rubbish. No real extra weight I had to carry out. And it's in the bin. I've had a few caretakers mention to me that a lot of people aren't backfilling their holes, leaving rubbish behind. So I just want to let everybody know, follow the rules, do the right thing and they will not shut it down on us. Yeah.